No matter what kind of projects you have around the shop, if you're looking for some tips and help, it's time for Sam's Garage, presented by Lund International, with Sam Mamolo and Sam Madavi. <laughs> Got a little five liter Ford here. We're getting ready to put it in the car and we got to have, of course, accessory drive, but put a brand new Tough Stuff water pump on it and putting some spaces on because we're going to put a nice front drive kit. Because this is going to get an alternator, AC compressor, new water pump, and a power steering pump. If you're familiar with Tough Stuff, always said that Chrome will get you home because it's all new stuff made in America, made in Cleveland, Ohio. They just introduced a new finish and it's called Factory Cast Plus. And this is what it looks like. It's a gray coating, it's real pretty. It's got a polymer coating on it. And this will stay like this forever. If it gets dirty, you wash it with a wet rag. Here's what raw aluminum, like the competitors alternators look like after 30 to 60 days in the atmosphere. It's looking pretty rough. This is a high current output alternator. And you can see here on the alternator, they got a ground tab. When you start coating parts, whether you do powder coat or this kind of coating, you're always gonna have bad ground. So they put a ground tab there. It's got a one wire alternator, high output. Keep the engine compartment nice and clean. The regulator kicks in at low speed. So you got plenty of current output while you're cruising low and slow. And remember, this thing had originally like a 40 amp alternator, very light stator feed. Optional, they've got an eight gauge stator feed. When you start doing a high current alternator, high amperage alternator, that's what you need to do. They put this coating on master cylinders, alternators, power steering pumps, all kinds of things. First thing I did is I got the parts list and I laid it out because there's a lot of pieces in this. Now, they don't make brackets, so we've got a set up for March. All the brackets are powder coated. This pump's got the same finish on it. Lay out all the parts, look at your parts list, and your best friend is gonna be a tape measure. If you fooled with small block Fords, you know every bolt is a different length and there's different threads. Another tip is you got a lot of um, steel going into aluminum, some stainless steel bolts, some steel bolts, put anti-seize on it so it doesn't marry it. I'm gonna start assembling all this. First thing I'm doing is putting on my harmonic balancer. You don't need an installer on these Fords because the bolt's long enough, and just drag it in. Put a little lube on it. I'm gonna pull this in, then I'll start assembling this. It's gonna take a little while, and I'll see how much of this I can get done, and what I don't get done, I'll finish up next week. All right, now, this is all nice and powder coated. This is from March, and it's gonna mount up here. This will carry our air conditioner compressor and our alternator here. Just follow the instructions. That's why we have all these spacers. And I'll figure it all out here for sure. The power steering's on this side, and we gotta go like something like this. And there's more spacers. Again, you're gonna have some bolts. Make sure you pay attention to where the short ones go in, the long ones, and there's some spacers. These spacers are threaded on both ends. So I'll put this in. Then we'll have some of these real long, go all the way through the cover into the block, through the water pump. This is gonna take a spacer right here. And again, the instructions tell you step by step, each bolt, you measure it and put it in. I'll just continue on with this till I get it all put together and we'll finish it up and we'll have a nice serpentine belt drive. Got our main bracket all bolted up. And again, it's loose. Got a rear alternator bracket that's gonna go on the head and they give you all the hardware in the kit. Cause some of your Fords are three eighths, some are seven sixteenths. I'll go ahead and put this on and I'll continue. Next week, we'll have this all put together. Everything hooked up in a belt on it and show you a neat way to tension a belt. We're making some pretty good progress here. Had to do a lot of other projects, but I'm back on this. This is our March pulley and bracket setup with all our tough stuff. AC compressor, high output alternator, power steering pump, all done in their new factory cast plus finish, including the water pump. Again, it's all brand new. Now, when you put this stuff on, there's a couple things. Like I said last week, got a lot of stainless steel going into aluminum. You got all different kinds of threads. Make sure you get some anti-seize compound and put it on there. Now I left this alternator loose. 
We've got our water pump pulley on. A nice, this is all serpentine belt. This is a reverse rotation pump. Here's our power steering pump. Got the nipples right here. Now on your AC compressor, you're gonna get the manifold that bolts on here. Got two special bolts for your lines to hook up. Don't put that onto your ready. This is all sealed up. Don't put it onto your ready to hook up and evacuate your system, pull a vacuum on it. Otherwise, you're gonna build moisture up there. Also, this is a 92 GT motor. We had to put a later model timing cover on it, 95 Mustang, and it's gonna get a timing pointer right here, bolts on, and it's slotted so we can adjust it. I'll do that. I'll take a dial indicator, get top dead center, index it to the pulley, that way I know we're getting in the right place. All right, now, again, everything the Tough Stuff makes is made in America, by Americans, that's what I really like. They've done a great job over at March with these brackets. Now there's also a diagram in the uh, instructions to follow. The easiest way to put the belt on, put the belt over all of the groove pulleys, and the back side of the belt's gonna drive the water pump. Now you notice there's no spring-loaded tensioner. I got another bolt I gotta put in here, okay? Okay, now when you put these bolts in, Following the instructions, measuring every bolt, they're a little long, and there's a reason for that. This is a tool that comes with the kit, and this is how you tension it. You notice there's no spring tensioner, okay? This is a set of turnbuckles, and you just take this, you've got your bottom bolts loose, there's bolts on the back, there's brackets for the back of the alternator and the back of the compressor. You just take that, tighten it up, tension your V-belt. They give you the dimensions in the kit for the V-belt, you get the right tension on it. You sock everything down, double check your work, make sure everything's tight. And there, tough stuff, got a really good setup. AC, high power alternate, power steering pump, reverse rotation water pump. This thing is ready to go in the car.